Welcome back people, we got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today, the very last mission. We've done every single mission on Fishing Planet, so there's a mission that you need to do, even the most newest lakes, there's a mission you need to do, check out across the channel and I'm pretty sure you will find it there. So here we are at Can Creek, this is where I have spawned over here on the very far right as you can see my guy down here lit up in an orange. So this is where we're fishing, I'm going to start off with just fishing straight in front of this hut here how well it's gonna go um actually maybe on the, near the end of there yeah how well it's gonna go i'm not sure it's not very often that i fish this place if i'm honest i'm not a big fan of can creek most of you guys know that a lot of you've asked me about this mission because we've done all the missions but this is the only one that i have not done and you guys always ask me why have i not done this but just because i don't really like this lake i'm not saying it's a bad lake it's just something that i don't really like i've tried fishing in this place i can catch fish and i can catch at a pretty good pace as well like it doesn't take too long to catch but if i'm honest i don't know what it is i can't explain what it is about this lake i just don't really like it other than yeah that's it it's just my personal opinion it's not a bad lake i just i'm just not a big massive fan of it just don't really like it so anyway when we're doing these missions, sometimes we do need to move from spot to spot. And I'm pretty sure I am going to have to do this for this one. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you can catch them all in the same place. But the chances of that can be quite slim. So, when you're doing missions, do be prepared to move around a little bit. You don't have to use the same rods and reels and line that I'm using. I'm just using this, just because this is what I have to hand. So, that's why I'm using it. But yeah, you don't have to use the same setup as what I've got. We got some interest already, so that's pretty good. Hopefully it's a fish that we're looking for. So Can Creek Exploration, this is the very last mission that I have to complete. And then I can say I finally completed every single mission on Fishing Planet. And there's the first fish that we did need. That's a that's a that's pretty pretty lucky actually, I'm gonna be honest. I haven't fished this place for a very long time. <laughs> and as you can see it come up saying new record as well. So red worms hook hash six. There we go. I'm gonna set a marker for that one just so that way you guys can see exactly where it was. Even though you did see me cast, but just to set a marker for it, just so that way you know. So that's where we are, just there. As you can see that marker over there. I will cast out to there again so you can see the distance exactly. Okay, this one looks like a bit of a bigger fish. I'm hoping to try and get pike here. I don't know if I'm going to get it from this location. I keep getting a lot of achievements because I don't really fish this place. So that's always a good thing. I always like to get the achievements and stuff. So hopefully by me doing this, I'm going to end up with a lot of achievements by the time I'm finished. That wasn't a fish that I'm looking for. Anytime I do live streams, I always use face cam and mic. Anytime I make videos like this, I just use the mic just because it's quicker. I don't have to bother to set up the face cam. And every now and again, I, I hit record just to make random videos. And they always turn out to be the best videos I've ever made. So 74 foot with the red worms there, hash six. And then I'm also going to be putting out, where is the other rod here? There you go. So I'm going to show you my setups. Again, you don't have to use the same rods and reels as what I'm using. I'm just using this just because that's what I have to hand. As long as you're using the same hook and the same bait and you're fishing in the same spot as me, then you will be able to catch the, the fish, not a problem. So this is another rod that I'm using. This rod here I'm using. I'm not using the float rod for this one, even though you could, it will work, but I'm not. And then there, I'm, that's my setup for my heavy chaser. So if you want to use the same setup, of course you can, but as long as you're using the same, the same bait, the same hook, fish in the same location, you should be good. I haven't actually made any edits into the video yet, of course I'm going to have to, and I'm probably going to be moving around a little bit as well, so again, when I move around, I'll always show you the different location that we move to. That's not a fish that I'm after, but again, another achievement. Let's get this one, so i got 150 out of 250. I've been playing this game for about five years. Anytime there is updates, I, I set up a live stream straight away, and I'll let you know about the updates that are coming. There you go, there's another fish that we was looking for. Trophy Alaska Blackfish. Perfect. I'm pretty sure for these last... Oh, I picked up the wrong rod. I'm pretty sure for these last ones I am going to have to move around. I don't think I'm going to be able to get pike here, but... I'll give it a shot. I definitely will try. 
Let's have a look. I think that one's salmon as well. It's not a fish that we need. Chin hook salmon. That's 151 though out of our achievements. This is on the red worms. So a little tip whenever you're doing these missions. Um, I will show you a little tip in a moment. So yeah, when them updates come, and only I tell you about the updates, but I set up a live stream straight away, and I start streaming it. I buy the DLCs, so that way you guys don't have to. I give my honest opinion to think if it's worth it or not. I'm not sponsored by Fishing Plant in any sort of way, so anytime I say I think it's worth it or not worth it, that's completely my pure opinion. I don't get paid to, to say that it's good, even if it isn't good. There is some DLCs out there that are really good, and there is some out there that are, to be honest, not really worth the money, in my opinion. But yeah, we always show new updates, we show the new rods, reels and tackle and boats and then we show the new lakes and I show how and where to catch certain new unique fish and anytime there is a new lake come out, obviously there's another new mission so I always get that new mission posted out onto the channel as quick as I possibly can. When I do live streams I use face cam and mic but yeah, for like this it's just quicker for me just to hit record. Oh, we got a bit of interest there. So a, a little tip that I always recommend for somebody who's trying to do these, if you're struggling with doing the bait that I'm doing, I can't see why that would be a struggle because it would work. I've caught it by using that certain bait, so you guys should. But every now and again, whether you're fishing in this lake or you're trying to do this mission, I'm pretty sure you're trying to do this mission because that's why you're here, but even if you're not here for the mission, if you want a good tip, a good tip that I always recommend is you can always go to here, not many people know this, but here you can go to fish species and you can scroll through and here it will tell you what sort of fish um, you can catch in the place and what sort of things they like. So for example this one here, the Dolly Varden, I don't think I've got any, any flies on me, was it flies or mayflies? Hold on. Okay, dragonflies. It was neither. I don't think I've got any dragonflies on me, but let me have a quick check just in case. I'm pretty sure I haven't. Um, let's see, let's see. But if you can't, if you haven't got the very best bait that they prefer, there is obviously other baits that you can catch them on as well. So, and I don't think I can buy that bait from here from the shop. Let me have a look. Oh, I can. Perfect. Okay, let me buy some of those dragonflies, and then. We're going to equip that on there, like so, so we can try and catch that fish from this location as well. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch it from here, to be honest, but we'll definitely give it a shot. For pike, I know they like small minnows and um, also shiners as well. I don't really think I need the red worms anymore, so let's have a look, see what the bull trout is after. Again, I'm looking at these just to show you guys and obviously because it's been a while since I've fished in this place as well so kind of handy that it tells me what bait that I need to catch this fish I don't think I'm gonna catch it from this location but I'm gonna fish here for a little bit see if I can try and get it from here if I can't and then obviously I will move location but this one looks like a bigger fish probably another salmon again yeah, another salmon. I know that I can get pike over to the the far right, so uh, far left, sorry. So I will head over to the left in a moment if I don't get any interest here. I've tried to put this one off for such a long time. I just don't like fishing this place. Okay, another Alaska. I don't I think that's gone on there now. Oh no, I think it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. Okay, this is on the dragonflies. Don't think it's the fish that I'm after, too small. No, but at least we know we can get the Alaska blackfish on the dragonflies as well. So that's pretty cool. I like that you can buy it from the shop as well. That's also pretty decent. So I'm going to keep fishing for a little bit here at this spot. If I don't get the, any one of those fish that I'm after, and then I'm going to move location and I will show you whereabouts I'm moving to. But you know where I am right now anyway. We spawned in near the hut, which is just... just round there round there somewhere let me see where was it okay yeah we walked a little bit along but so you spawn in here at the hut again I'll show you on the map that's where we are that little orange guy 
we spawn in here and then we walk down and we're fishing just here so I'm gonna fish for a little bit more if I don't get any interest I'm not gonna waste too much time here fishing but yeah I fish here for a little bit more if I get no interest then I move location and I will show you guys whereabouts I'm moving to so I'll bring you guys back when we get our next fish on using the medium spoon now I thought I'll um just mess around with the spinner here see if there's any pike around here Let's have a look, see what we have. It's not a pike, but it's still a fish that we need. The Dolly Varden. Look at that. That looks quite nice. Yeah, this medium spoon works really, really good. So still in the same location, but just casting out with that. That works really well, this. I've literally, on every single cast, I have caught a fish. So I'll show you how far I'm casting. That's how far I'm casting. All right, so I'll bring you guys back 145 foot. I'll bring you guys back when I get another one. All right, so... No more interest here. I didn't think I'd get the pike here, but I thought I'd give it a shot. So, yeah, with the um, medium spoon. Medium spoon works really, really good here. Just cast out straight in front. Works really, really well. I've been casting using my spinning rod just out there. So, if you're interested in my spinning rod, i quickly show you that. Set up just in case. So, that's the River Tex. And then I've got some heavy duty line on there. And that reel. But, yeah, that medium spoon works really, really good here. Caught a lot, a lot of fish here in quite a short space of time just casting straight out in front there 145 foot so i'm going to move from this location now i'm going to walk a little bit further down here so we're just going to walk down i thought i'd bring you in on this rather than showing you just on the map so there's the hut we're going to have a little walk down here looking for that deeper part of the water or at least trying to um might get set up around about down there near there somewhere just gonna look around see if i could try and find that pike i don't think i would get it from that place that i am but i remember catching pike before and i, rem I do remember catching it down here so i'm gonna do a bit of spinning down here and i'm gonna put out some some baits as well so maybe like here casting out there because i think we're in the deeper part of the water now aren't we yeah okay so either there, or I could get even maybe just here as well, in between these two bits, just here. Um, I tell you what, just because the water's a bit more open, so you see these two little bushes here. This is where we're going to get set up, just here in between these two. If it doesn't work, then I move a little bit more to the left, even more. But I try here first. I'm going to cast out, have a few casts. And uh, see if we get any interest here. Let's have a look. Alright. Don't ask me why I always put the... Well, in fact, actually, the reason why I always put the rod stand up high is just because I'm a sea fisherman in real life. And because of that, that's the only reason I can think of. Just because of that reason. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, you don't have to put your rod stand up that high. I just do that because I'm just... It's just what I do in real life, sea fishing. So again, using dragonflies as well. I don't think using the dragonflies I'm going to get the um, the bull trout here, but you never know. We could get lucky. The main reason why I'm fishing here is just to try and get that um, try and get that last pike here. I don't think I'm going to catch it on the natural eggs, but I'm just going to put that one out anyway, just in case. I'm just going to put a few rods out. There's one with shiners, which is this one. So I'm going to cast it here, but when I catch, when I do catch the pike, I will set a marker for it as well, just so that way you guys can see. So I'll bring you guys back when we get that pike, or maybe even the bull trout, but I'm pretty sure the pike. So I'll bring you guys back in just a moment. Zero. Still in the same place, but I cast it over there, to the left there. I kept casting out in front of me, I had no interest, so I thought I'd cast over to the left, give it a shot. And there we have it. So that's the fish that I was looking for, Northern Pike. So I'm going to set a marker for that one real quick, just so that way you guys can see where I caught it. So just ran I was just random casting. There we go. There's the Northern Pike. Just there. Which, kind of hard to see that marker out there, but I'm going to cast out to where I did. And then I'm going to zoom it in a little bit. So I did max cast using the same spinning rod that I showed you guys. 183 foot I cast out to and as you can see there's the marker just where the tip of my rod is you probably could walk over that way a little bit more and cast that way using bait 
you can catch that northern pike but that worked anyway all right i'll bring you guys back for the last one the bull trout and we're back in i'll bring you back i'm at a different location but here look we can catch the dolly varden here as well caught it in really really close like i don't know about 20 30 foot here just in front of me we've got another fish on using large minnows it is the one that we're looking for though, so that's perfect. Trophy bull trout, don't worry, I will show you the location where we're fishing. Don't forget to drop a like on the video as well, lets us know you're still enjoying Fishing Planet. Exploration has been complete, there we go, Can Creek Exploration. This one actually did take me a short little minute, I'm going to be honest, but then as soon as I put those large minnows on, <clears throat> I literally only just put those on, and yeah, I caught it really, really fast, so... Large minnows, barbless hook, hash 2 slash 0. Don't have to be barbless hook, as long as it's a hash 2 slash 0, you should be good. I'm going to set a marker for that one just in case as well, just to show you guys a little bit more. There it is, trophy bull trout. Caught that in really close, as you can see, just there. That's where I caught that one. And then the dolly, as I said, we don't have, we obviously caught it on the spinner, but... You can catch it with the large minnows as well. I just wanted to show you that you could get it with large minnows. And again, for the dolly... <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Just behind this little rock here. That's where I that's where I cast, just there. And, yeah, large minnows is definitely the way to go. Oh, that one's snagged up. As you can see, I put large minnows on all of the rest of the rods. And that seemed to work really well, so... There we go, just unsnag that one. Okay, so... We are on the map, we are just here, so it's where I spawned in for this last fish was here. So as you can see my guy in the middle here, the orange guy, that's where I spawned in, that's where I am. And is, is all we do is we spawn in, let me just move over this way a little bit. So you spawn in here, kind of near this log, you couldn't miss it. So you'll see this big log, and then as you walk over here, I'm kind of fishing right next to this little rock here. And then obviously you've got a rock, couple of rocks there to the left. So yeah, pretty pretty easy. You should be able to get here without finding it any difficulties. We've got some fish on. I'll bring this one in. And then, um, then we've got to do the next one. I'm looking forward to getting this done. So Can Creek Salmon is the next one. That's the next one I'm going to go for. But I'll make that as a separate video anyway, just so that way there's separate videos in case you're doing these missions. So keep an eye out for that, that will be coming very, very soon. I've got the glitch, come on, game glitch, there we go. Alright, so this could be a dolly, again, yeah, it's another dolly, I think. Yeah, there you go, trophy dolly. So you can catch those here from this location as well. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Subscribe if you're new. When you hit the bell, make sure it says all so you don't miss out on those new updates for Fishing Planet. We've got some more interest going on there as well. It just got snagged up. We've got some more interest there as well. So these large minnows seem to work really, really good here at this location. Good spot to, to get these fish. Didn't take too long to catch them as well. So if you want a little bit of a grind and you want to catch a lot of them, I guess here's not a bad spot. Alright, there we go, another fish on, let's have a look, see which one this is, real quick. Might as well show you, as, we, as we're still here, we've got another achievement there, so there's the chum salmon. So we can get some salmon here, we've got another fish on here as well. Wow. Pretty fast pace. And then the pink salmon. Alright, hope you guys did enjoy this one, don't forget to drop a like, we'll catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I'm out.